What's going on champs and champs? It's Fire Monkey here in the V23.40 update. Oh my god, you know, it's hard to keep track of numbers, but the V23.40 update to Fortnite is supposed to be releasing tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. Eastern Time, and with it we have tons of news regarding stuff coming up with the update, not only including, you know, just the usual stuff you hear me talk about every single what to expect in tomorrow's update video, but also specific cosmetics that will be added to the item shop right when downtime ends with tomorrow's update, which also kind of, you know, confirms a little bit earlier that hey this update is practically already confirmed and is already set to be releasing tomorrow so it's only a matter of time to wait for epic games to officially announce it with their usual like teaser tweet or whatever else on twitter giving a little bit of a theme to what's going on here but knowing the fact that this update is coming out on valentine's day i just want to say that most likely the update will be themed around you know love and all that type of stuff now, when it comes to the update itself, there is the obvious things we should be expecting with every single update, such as, you know, new cosmetics, new augments, new weekly challenges, you know, Oathbound Part 4, which if we look over here, you can see Oathbound Part 4 is set to be prepared in 14 days or whatever, which also is the same time as the uh, Gerald and Rivera Page 2 thing, which actually means that it might not be added this update, but the next one, but we have a lot of stuff going on, right? We have a lot of things that are, you know, are just pretty common to expect with the update, especially since some other things have already been confirmed, such as, you know, like the Dragon Ball Mythics being vaulted, but when it comes to the actual augments, we gotta keep in mind that some of the augments we could be seeing in the game are very unique ones, because there's been a lot that's been worked on that I leaked at the beginning of the season, such as the Midas Touch augment, where every, you know, enemy you eliminate, I think it was with an SMG, will actually drop more gold, or something like that, right? You know, there was tons of augments being worked on, and there was even an augment that would see the Railgun getting unvaulted whenever you would use it, similar to the Tactical Armory augment, or the upcoming Dragon, Ar uh, Dragon Armory augments, where those actually gave you weapons that were currently vaulted. It seems that Epic Games was still working on those, and those could be things to be expecting with this update. However, of course, we don't have the official list, and this time around, Epic Games didn't leak anything early, so we truly don't know which augments we could or couldn't see in the game once the update actually comes out. But, you know, that's a general idea of some of the augments we could see based on recent leaks and all the information that's been going on regarding the game files. On top of that, you know, maybe we'll see an old item getting unvaulted, or maybe we'll even see a new item being added to the loot pool because at the start of the season you guys remember I had actually leaked an upcoming item or actually two upcoming items one of which was a revamped version of the boombox item as a you know electric guitar and then the other one was actually going to be a firefly launcher which is basically kind of like a flamethrower in the way but instead you would use fireflies as ammo and you would actually shoot out fireflies so you know it was like there's all these cool items Epic Games was working on that we could potentially see when this update comes out but of course we don't have any of that stuff actually confirmed and it's kind of like in a way, you know, except for the obvious of, oh, hey, there's new cosmetics. All we really know about this update, because it is more in the vague territory, is it's like, yep, we're getting new weekly challenges. Yep, you know, we're going to be getting new cosmetics, new augments, and that type of stuff. But other than that, it's kind of just like a shrug moment, right? Now, of course, since it is going to be a Valentine's themed update, Epic Games seems to have a little mini event planned because they recently sent the email out to content creators talking about a brand new Foley set that will be released and put in the item shop once the update releases. This will be an outfit called Foley that will have a variant, which apparently is going to be related to taking on or off a mask, according to what I've seen on Twitter. There's going to be the Foley's Heartcase Backling, the Heartache Pickaxe, and the Jester's Privilege Wrap. So it's all themed about, you know, like Valentine's Day and stuff. And considering the fact that Epic Games is going to be giving this to some certain content creators early, not me, of course, because I'm a Fortnite leaker, but since they're going to be giving it to some content creators early and they're going to be putting it in the item shop right away, I can highly expect Epic Games to do something with this update right when it releases releases like you know a mini event for everyone to enjoy where it's like hey it's time to share the love or break some hearts because valentine's day is going down with some free rewards for you to earn as well as some you know quests or whatever else to do right of course we haven't been confirmed any quests or anything like that but we do know that knowing epic games they might do something like that or maybe a website event or something along those lines it just really seems like an odd choice to just out of nowhere be like hey Here's a new Valentine's themed cosmetic set, right? We're going to be giving it to content creators early. We're going to be hyping it up. And then we're just going to, you know, put it in the item shop right when the update comes out. They don't typically do that type of thing unless there's more, I guess, of a reason to do it, right? At least from what I've seen with Epic Games when it comes to that type of stuff. Of course, there's been times where they've just given content creators cosmetics early, such as, you know, what is... I'm sorry. I... Hey, can you come back down? Thank you. I... I... Hey, 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 stop it! Okay, you guys get what's going on here, right? I, this is this is why I love bot lobbies. Bots are so understanding to everything going on, I swear. Can you can you stop? I'm trying to give the news here, bot! I, I, I'm sorry, please, 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 just... 
please. Okay, okay, we can continue the video. Let me go towards the circle a little bit here. All right, with that fiasco out of the way, the one thing I wanted to mention regarding the whole entire uh, Folly outfit and their set that will be reliving in the item shop, which is confirmed by their email to be a female skin, I just wanted to talk about what the email itself that was sent to these content creators had said, because, you know, it does kind of hint towards what's going on in the whole theme here. It says, hey there, the Folly outfit and her set will arrive in the Fortnite item shop just in time for the season of love. Everyone plays the fool sometimes in the court of love. Try to be the breaker of hearts instead with the following items. And then, you know, list all the items we just talked about and then talked about how they will be granted to, you know, all these content creators right at 4 a.m. Eastern time on February 14th when this update releases, and it ends with the following line of, come out of the court of love, a winner. So, you know, it is definitely a Valentine's themed set. It's a female skin that's going to have, you know, a variant, a back bling, a pickaxe, and a wrap all a part of it, and it is something that could kind of hint towards maybe a mini Valentine's Day event going on for the, you know, like, special occasion or whatever, or it could just be something that's kind of just there to be there, you know, away for Epic Games to sell a new skin and be like, hey, look, we did something for Valentine's Day, right? Because maybe I just have high hopes all the time for whenever they kind of hype up this stuff, especially giving content to, you know, certain creators early, that maybe it's related to, oh, you know, some actual content for the game that everyone will be able to benefit from instead of just, hey, you know, for Valentine's Day, you know, we know you love everyone, like, you know, you love your significant other or whatever, so we decided to showcase your love in this game or, you know, to have some themed challenges about love, we'll just go ahead and sell a set in the item shop, right? I don't know if they would actually do just that, but then again, it is Epic Games, right? You know, maybe I'm just having my high hopes all the way up there or something like that. And I'll leave that for you guys to discuss in the comments down below as we get closer to the brand new V23.40 update that will be releasing tomorrow at 4 a.m. Eastern time. Now, of course, with all this information said, we do have one more update left in the files that was kind of like a last minute addition being V23.50. And there is some speculation that maybe we'll have some mini event related stuff out of this update hyping up that upcoming content because of the fact that they kind of just threw it in very last last minute, right? And it seems like the only two things we have confirmed for that update is part four of Oathbound and, you know, the actual cosmetic cosmetics for the second part of the Witcher collaboration. And when it comes to Oathbound, we know that one of the upcoming part four challenges is literally related to, you know, collecting like a hard drive or something for Amy. So we know that there's more lore going on with Amy, especially since they're trying to build their own body and stuff up like that to kind of discover as we continue through this season. So with that said, I can't wait to view this update with you guys, do my usual show case video where we talk about the cosmetics, review them, show everything off to you guys, kind of ramble on using my Twitter account to show you guys all the leaks, and I will see you champs and champettes tomorrow morning with even more content. Peace out.